everyone. Today I'm going to record the 99th chapter of my novel, Frista. So let's start. I said, when we are leaving, he said, right now, we will go to Winterthur. Then from there, we will go to Zurich. And from Zurich, we will take train at 7 o'clock. And that will take us to Lugano. I said, that will take us there in three hours. He said, how do you know that? I said, this isn't the first time that I'm traveling in this train. He said, don't waste time. Bring pair of jeans, t-shirt. If you want, bring your tooth toothpaste and toothbrush. I hurriedly went to my room, took my black bag and inserted one pair of jeans, one t-shirt. It was same jeans which I wore when I came to Arezzo to Kreuzlingen. When I came from Arezzo to Kreuzlingen, but I lost my t-shirt. The same black t-shirt, they gave it to Sri Lankan girl. I added toothpaste, toothbrush and some papers, cutting off my interview in their land, their land bote, one notebook which had some poems written by me. I took all these things and came out from my room. I said to housemaster that I am leaving. He said to me, ciao chus. He thought I am going to Orlikon. I turned my head and looked at the asylum center. This was the place where I lived for two months, two and a half months. I was habitual of this place. I made decision to come to Switzerland swiftly and now I was dying to go back to Italy. Both of us took bus and came to Winterthur. It was Friday evening and weekend just started. So there were more trains for big cities and ticket was cheap as well. Costanzo indicated me to buy the ticket. I asked him about his ticket and he showed me his pass which was valid in every part of Switzerland and in every train. He said, I am 125. I travel free on weekends. I asked him, I should buy a ticket up to which railway station? He said, from Winterthur to Lugano. Like this you will save time because Zurich is a very busy, busy railway station. Sometime, because of all that, you miss the train. I went to the ticket window, bought ticket up to Lugano. She gave me two tickets. One ticket from was from Winterthur to Zurich and other ticket, ticket was from Zurich to Lugano. Our train came in few minutes. Both of us entered in the train. I didn't believe that I was going to Italy. In our journey, Costanzo was looking at me and smiling. Sometimes he used to indicate me something. Our train arrived at Zurich railway station in 45 minutes. At 4 o'clock, I was blaming Costanzo at Urbul, Urbul Asylum Center. I didn't even know that I will be at Zurich railway station at 6.30 in the evening. Now we were waiting at Zurich railway station for Lugano's train. I was observing Zurich railway station coming to Swiss from Italy was like yesterday. On 15th of June, 10 o'clock in the evening, I was at Zurich railway station. I went to Winterthur from here and I didn't even know that where I'll sleep tonight. That small sandwich shop was still there. I bought two sandwiches and two cans of coke from that sandwich shop. One sandwich and uh, can of coke I gave to Costanzo and I ate the second one. As we were eating, train for Logano came at the platform. I still didn't believe that I am going to Italy because we were still in Switzerland. As I sat in the train, a fat man who was sitting next to me, he said, it's very hot today. He said to me, very hot as weather, as weather was not as weather was hot 
because of me. I answered him, yes, it's hot, but when train will move, then temperature will be fine. Costanzo was looking at me in an admiring way. That fat man told me that he is American citizen and he is against George W. Bush. Then he said, Bush is the world's biggest terrorist and Osama bin Laden is a very nice man. We talked till late. He was working for some private, private channel and came to Switzerland for making some documentary film. He was praising Osama bin Laden and cursing George W. Bush because I told him that I am from Pakistan. I learned so many things from Raza, so now I used to laugh on such type of discussions. He bored me during our travel. He was going to Italy and I had to get off at Logano. Me too. I was going to Italy, but I wasn't American like him. Neither I was citizen of European Union. Our train arrived at Logano railway station exactly at 10.15 in the evening. Even I came at this railway station three months before, but at that time I didn't know my destination. Although I didn't know anything about my next destination, I wasn't sure that I will reach Italy or I will have to come back to Orlikon. Costanzo didn't know what was in my mind. He didn't know any language to communicate with me. We came from railway station. He explained me in sign language that we are going to stay at his friend's house. I asked him, aren't we going to Italy? Then he explained me, tonight we will stay at Logano. Then six o'clock in the morning, we will leave for Italy. After that, I kept quiet. I whispered in a very low voice, wherever my destination will take me, I will go. I was walking behind Costanzo, the signboard of Logano, the signboards of Lugano were in Italian language. Streets, roads, signs, shops, restaurants, every name was in Italian. It seemed like that, an Italian village. The construction style was Italian. This, this Swiss canton is called Ticino. Lugano is one of the city of Ticino, Ticino canton. They speak Italian in this canton. I was busy in my thought and walking behind Costanzo. He was walking in the streets of Logano as he was the resident of this area or he was living here since ages. He stopped in front of multi-story building. There must have been 10 floors. There were quite a lot of bells outside. He pressed one of them. The door was open. We entered inside at first floor of that building. There was a small room and one person was sitting inside. Costanzo explained him that he came to see someone. He asked on intercom and that person told him that they came to see me. They can come to my room. According to this building rule, you were allowed to see your person, your friends on weekend. You were even allowed to stay here for one day or two nights. But you must inform concierge, concierge before go upstairs, Costanzo explained in sign language that he already informed his friend that he's coming with someone, but I didn't tell him that you are going to Italy. I said, you don't need to worry. I won't mention him about this. When concierge said, okay, then we took lift and arrived at third floor. Costanzo's friend was waiting for us. Costanzo told him that I am from Pakistan. He is my friend. We live together in Orgul Asylum Center. Costanzo's friend was aware of Italian language. So I, all, I easily explained him everything. He knew Italian because he was Italian. It was, he was in Italian canton. We entered in the room. It was one bedroom flat. There were two beds inside. In the middle, there was TV and VCR and one DVD player. Next to them, there were lots of Indian films. I got shocked seeing all that. In one corner, there was kitchen and next to, next to it, there was bathroom. There was one window in the room, but I was, it was very big window. 
covered nearly the whole wall and outer scene was visible through that window Costanzo's friend asked me in Italian language have you eaten anything I answered him I haven't eaten anything and I'm hungry as well he said let me prepare chicken for you but you are Muslim will you eat because we bought it from store and that isn't halal I said Islam isn't that strict religion when you have a problem you can eat and especially when it's the matter of life and death then you can definitely eat any kind of chicken all of them started laughing then I said I will cook for you if you don't mind Costanzo was staring at me it has been few moments that I was here but I was familiar with everyone I was talking with his friend like I knew him since ages it's my habit I don't hesitate and waste time anyhow he gave me chicken in a packet it was chicken with skin I poured some water in the vessel and dipped that chicken in that vessel containing water I started preparing sauce with onions and tomatoes I asked them if they can eat spicy chicken all of them said collectively why not they didn't have many spices black pepper and salt I cooked chicken in half an hour with bread we ate that chicken and finished it after that Costanzo Costanzo's friend said we ate a lot so let's go outside for a walk I said where will you go where we will go he said there's a lake in Logano we sit till late there there's a mountain in front of that lake people live there and you can you can see the lights and when their shadow waves in the lake lakes water that scene is very beautiful I said then I will definitely go with you all of us came out from studio flat we, we said bye to concierge and came to the streets of Logano after a few moments we were at Logano's lake Costanzo's friend was very right the lake scene was very beautiful it was full full moon the moon was shining and we were walking along the lake then we sat on the on a bench when we left Zurich it was very hot but now close to this lake I was feeling nippy cool breeze was blowing I was feeling very good with this cool breeze and lakes water Costanzo's friend asked me how you feel now I said I am in dreamland you were very right the lights of houses and their shadow in the lakes water is very beautiful while we were talking about this suddenly I saw the shadow of moon in the lakes water the moon's shadow used to appear and disappear because of waves I felt he was ashamed of seeing us so he was hiding himself from us I thought of Indian song and I got amazed of poet's imagination I don't know how many people might have seen moon's shadow in water or lake but nobody thought in this way the meaning of the verse was that when I embraced my girlfriend and when moon saw us so close he <laughs> sorry he felt shame looking at us so in lakes water he tried to hide himself Costanzo's friend asked me what are you thinking I said nothing I was thinking if I wouldn't have seen Logano's lake then coming to Switzerland would have been useless we sat next to lake till late when we arrived home I asked Costanzo when we will go to Italy from Logano he said in the morning now you take some rest because we will leave early in the morning thank you very much i hope you like my video like my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you